My girls here at rockinguitarlessons.com and youtube.com slash rockinguitarlessons1. That's meatloaf with bat out of hell. Per request of um, Jack. I remember Jack. I don't remember his actual YouTube name, but I remember Jack. Alright man, so um, there's a lot of like different little guitar things going on here. A lot of piano, a lot of parts where the guitar is not playing. So I decided the most dominant part, without jumping into the lead stuff, is the chorus. So let's do the chorus. It's F major. Hopefully you have a good understanding of bar chords. Um, it's um, standard tuning, by the way. Cover everything on the first fret. This is an F major bar. Third finger 3A, pinky four or 3D, middle finger 2G. And go, the strum pattern is kind of going to repeat. So once you get the concept of it'll be that through almost all of it. So, let's start with that. Down, and then lift up the fretting fingers slightly to get a mute, like that. So fret hand mute is what that's called. And then go, push back down and go up, and then up, down, up. So I won't explain the strum on each chord unless it changes, okay? Then we're gonna move to a B flat, that's first finger 1A, and then I like to bar this, third fret D, G, and B but you can experiment with fingers to what you're most comfortable with. With that first finger, tuck it underneath the low E to mute it. Do the same strum I just taught you. And then back to the F major. Again. Again. Then we move to what's called A minor. It's middle finger 2D, third finger 2G, first finger 1B. With your thumb, mute the low E. Actually, it don't matter on this one because the A minor has an E in it. Same strum. Okay, so. Part of that fret hand mute, especially with chords like this, you can set your, as if you're palm muting. Okay, and then, uh, so we. Then hit the B flat major again once. Lift your first finger off. And this would be a B flat with an a bass. Or no, actually, it's, you know what, you guys, I think it's A minor. Yeah. Playing that long in the intro there. And then G, G minor bar. Cover everything fret 3, third finger 5A, pinky 5D. That's a whole note. It gets four counts. Two, three, four. Back to F major. Then go to C major, 3A, bar the 5th fret on the D, G, and B, or cram the fingers, whatever you choose. B flat, just take that chord and move it 2 frets over to 1, 3, 3, 3. And that one's going to be twice, I think. Yep, and one thing little that goes on too is in between your chord changes, if you catch a couple opens, like... It doesn't have to be on the chord. Right there. Sounds out slowly, but everyone plays that way. Um, and it just makes things flow better. Then hit the F major once. Two, three, four. That's a whole note. The C major, which is 3A, and then 555 DGB. I'm going quickly on those because we've already explained these ones. Three, four, and then C. So you hit the chord, open A, third fret E, first fret E, so that's third finger, first finger, and then third finger, three E, open A, first fret A, and then the C chord. So that's so the phrasing, you know, the beat of it. Dun 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 dun. You want to get those beats stuck in your head. Ba, 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 ba. All right, guys. 
guys, that's it for Meatloaf Bat Out of Hell. The first lesson of Meatloaf that I have on my channel. As of now. As of, what is today? August, uh, I don't know. August 6th of 2012. Speaking of that, my website's coming in 2012. I just don't know what month. But hopefully you'll become a premium member there. It's $20. It will take your plane to the next level, and that's what it's going to be designed to do. It's a work in prog progress right now. But, um, you know, anything worth doing is worth doing right. And if you don't know better, you, you can build up some habits that aren't too good. And we've all been there. You know, it happens. But this will shape you and point you in the right direction and help you grow and keep a solid foundation. So be watching for that. I'll keep you posted. And youtube.com slash rockinguitarlessons1 is my YouTube channel. Go subscribe, comment, like, request fa your favorite song riffs. I'll get them to you accurately. And that's the key. And spread the word about me, guys. Mike Gross and uh, my website and my YouTube channel. And just encourage people to subscribe and, and let them know I'm the teacher that will actually take care of you. And not that no one else will, but I know me. And I know what I'll do. And um, so, yeah. If you're stuck on anything in this, ask me some questions and I will clear it up, okay? So, until then, until next time, I'm Mike Gross. Go subscribe. Peace.